Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I decided to do a 12 sign read for you guys and just see what came up. And actually the read came out pretty unbelievable. You're, there's some cards at the end that you don't see that you're gonna really like. So we'll get to that in a minute. But I'm gonna go through all the 12 signs. I'm gonna pull clarification cards for each as well. So this is for June 20th, 2019 and the cards were pulled at 1010 this evening. The underlying energy there at the top is the star card, the 10 of swords, the, the ace of swords, and the seven of wands. So up here at the top here, we got the star, the 10 of swords, the ace of swords, and the seven of wands, okay? And they sort of lead each column, and we start with Aries, through Pisces, and so this is fire, earth, air, and water, okay? So the underlying energy of the star, the ten of swords, the ace of swords, and the seven of wands, dreams come true in a birthing process of the truth, in standing up for yourself. Excuse me. Stars shine in ending the pain by telling the truth and being authentic no matter what others come at you with. And I'm going to go right into Aries. So Aries has the Nine of Cups. And all of these cards were upright, but that card happened to come up reversed in the deck. So I left it there because it must have come up that way for a reason for Aries. And there may be some arrogance there. So um, could it's so, definitely someone who's unsatisfied and could be arrogant. Connected to Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, and Pisces. All emotional. Reflecting the wounded warrior Leo. Aries and Taurus are down, Gemini walking away, Virgo and Libra in love, and Pisces starting to see synchronicities, that dreams are real, heaven in their eyes, through Virgo. So Aries is connected to all this, but Aries doesn't look very happy about the whole situation, and they may be getting some negative attention, but I'm going to clarify this as well. So just one card came up for Aries, and that is the Four of Pentacles. So they could be saving or just holding on to something they need to let go of. All right. Being trying to ground themselves because they may be ungrounded if they're not happy and getting attention they don't want. Let's see what as we go into Taurus to see if anything comes up for Aries other than that. So Taurus bleeding out and grieving or finding it hard to let go pass the baton or get past regret of a child or new love, facing an unhappy Aries and turning back on a Gemini who's also walking away, about to face the Taurus, the two, two cups ready and waiting, which could be Virgo and Libra. Okay, so let's see what the clarification says for Taurus here and their grieving process. Cards are a bit sticky here. Let's see what it has to say. This is Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus, okay. We have here the Four of Cups and the Two of Pentacles there reversed. So they're grounding and integrating what they're going through and uh, breaking some patterns. Um, maybe maybe they tripped up doing something wrong or maybe they tripped up in a good way to help them break the facade, let down their guard, and break some patterns by grounding and integrating their grief, allowing it to happen. That's the Taurus. So then we have Gemini. Gemini with the Eight of Cups. Taurus, by the way, that was Five of Cups. Gemini is Eight of Cups, uh, walking away in their truth, but walking away and within, away from the Taurus, but also the Queen of Wands, who's looking the other way. Connected to Libra, but not agreeing with their offer of love. Libra taking the missing cup from Gemini and offering it to Virgo, as Pisces watches in amazement heaven in their eyes. And let's see what comes up for Gemini here with the Eight of Cups. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. This is all for June 20th, 2018. We have 
three cards came out for Gemini, the five of wands, the star card, and the moon, all right, which actually lands on Cancer, the moon, which is the, uh, the queen of wands there. So for Gemini, they're walking away within, uh, looks like there was just a big fight or they're on a quest for stardom after this full moon just passed or just healing. They're just tired of the fight. They're ready, ready to go, go in on their own and really shine their light alone. Um, after feeling the stress of this, the false light of the full moon, and it might have to do directly with this connection to Cancer and the Queen of Wands, because she's Cancer and the moon is Cancer. So this Queen of Wands is looking the other way from Gemini. So Gemini may be seeing this Queen of Wands as the false light and wanting to outshine her, but tired of the fight. So they're walking away within and within, you know, to, to meditate and do their thing, okay, to be alone. Um, let's go to Cancer, Cancer, standing up for self, but looking away, connected to Leo and Sagittarius, which both could be her, wounded warrior getting negative attention, looking away from Gemini, feeling, feeling above Libra or above the justice system and can't even fathom the Libra and Virgo thing, not giving up. Um, and the Queen of Wands will use black cat and herbs if needed. No one puts baby in the corner. That's what I'm getting from Cancer there with the Queen of Wands. And that the Queen of Wands coming out for Cancer there could be could be someone who's not normally the Queen of Wands, but who's coming out a little bit in her aggression there. Maybe a little bit of her temper was flaring during this full moon period for Cancer there. Okay, so let's see what comes out for Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. All right, we have um, the Seven of Wands, which is perfect because that's right above her in the underlying energies. And then we have the Seven of Cups reversed and the Ace of Wands for Cancer here. Okay. So That just reconfirms that Cancer's been standing up for themselves. They could have been a little bit defensive. So again, their aggressive side might have been coming out. Their um, fire side could be coming out and feeling a little defensive today. Um, but then letting go of emotional attachments and maybe catching themselves in it and finding their passion again. May have received some, uh, someone may have extended passion to them as well. Or someone might have instigated that in them, forcing them to, to see their shadow work that still needs to be done and things that they still need to detach from. Might be a little bit of an awakening for them today. But definitely um, could have been on the defense today a little bit. In standing up for themselves, maybe a little bit too much so. And then going into Leo. Leo's the wounded warrior over here. Um, needs to heal, feeling the weight of the Aries on top and their arrogance. Uh, they could be guarding good news or the guardian of good news or the queen of pentacles, attention to guilt and shame. The Leo may be a bodyguard for Sagittarius, but defensive to the innocence of the page of cups, the child or Virgo puppy love and can't fight it anymore. Um, the wounded warrior, Leo, is now weak. Okay, so let's see what comes up for Leo. All right, that flipped right up. It's the, uh, the Eight of Wands came out with the King of Swords. Actually, more cards want to come out. The Eight of Wands, the King of Swords, the Emperor, and the um, Temperance card there. Okay, all four for Leo over here. So... And that's more Sagittarius energy. So Sag and Leo are definitely connected there. 
And then we have the emperor, the emperor here, which could be the Aries there that's reversed, but the emperor's upright. Actually, the king of swords, the emperor, and the um, the temperance card are all upright with the eight of wands. There's a lot of passionate communication there. And that king of swords could actually be representative of that Leo as a bodyguard for the emperor. And then this Sagittarius energy would relate to the Sag here below. The angel getting having good news coming in or getting attention for leading the way of the journey. But the Leo not giving up, but they're very, they're weak and wounded, but maybe expressing their feelings. There's also the tower wants to come up as well, but I'm going to leave that in the deck, see if it comes up again, okay? So in sudden events, it may have knocked the Leo for a loop. The Virgo here is the Page of Cups, birthing new love, new child or puppy love, or a friendly offer, innocent of heart and open to all, feels the sadness of Taurus and the shame of the Capricorn. Accepting big love from Libra, a little bit at a time, or children that Virgo loves so much, Pisces amazed that dreams come true. So let's see what comes up for Virgo. The uh, Virgo and Libra there were the most positive emotions right there. There's definitely some kind of love offer there going on. So for Virgo, we have the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So someone's coming after her, but she may not be expecting it. Okay? That's like the the Leo of the offer of love here coming in quick and maybe a little bit harsh because she's not expecting it. But she's in her Queen of Cups, so that's good. That's there's nothing wrong with that positive. Except that somebody might uh, I mean, you could say with the, the Knight of Swords, it could be someone who's coming in to attack her, but it's right on top of an offer of love. So I don't think that's the case. It just may be a little bit uncomfortable at first. Okay. All right, let's go into Libra. Libra is the Ace of Cups. In truth, offering love to Virgo, self-love, spiritual love, away from court, with Libra Scorpio and Queen of Wands, Cancer, which they could all be the same person as well. The Queen of Wands, Cancer, also comes as up as Leo and or Sag. The missing cup not received by Gemini and foundation of this love is powerful and explosive and a long time coming. That's what comes up for Libra. So again... Um, they could be finished with court. Look at that. Wow. That just came up for Libra. Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups upright. Wow. That is very clear. There's no like, there's no getting around that. And then actually the next card coming out of the deck is the Three of Swords reverse. So that means there's healing happening here. That's really nice for the Libra. They're definitely offering love to, towards Virgo and very happy about it. Very, they found their happiness for themselves alone. That's really beautiful. And you're going to see the reflection in the end of the cards here too. So for Scorpio, we have the Justice card. So there's only two major arcana in this read. That was Scorpio and then we have Aquarius over here. So there might be something big going on with, uh, with Scorpio and Aquarius as well. So for Scorpio, standing up for self in court with Libra or Queen of Wands, while Pisces watches or witnesses Libra offer love or propose or justice of the peace. Scorpio could also be Libra, newly divorced from Queen of Wands, Cancer Leo Sag, a heavy weight on their shoulders and sitting on a roll of the die, a crapshoot, a gamble, or the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This is for Scorpio. Let's see what comes out for Scorpio. <sighs> Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. So Scorpio, we have three as well. We have the five of cups reversed. The five of swords. All right. And then the tower card there. Okay. So the tower card did come out again. 
and it's coming out on Scorpio and also Aquarius is the tower. So this is relating Scorpio and Aquarius again, okay? So there's some difficult energy there for Scorpio because we have the five of cups reverse, which is good because that means they're getting over whatever loss they're dealing with. Um, but, you know, they're dealing with the five of swords, which is, or I'm sorry, the um, that's the seven of swords. Right, so someone getting away with something or running away from a sudden explosion or sudden event or an epiphany. It's like running into the tower and then running back away again. And do you see, look at this. We have the tower and the seven of swords here. The tower and the seven of swords. This is Aquarius and Capricorn and it's repeating right here along with the five of cups, which is Taurus's position. So Scorpio is definitely wrapped up with Taurus, Capricorn, and Aquarius. All right, and there's a big explosion here, or at least an epiphany at minimum. Um, it could even be a real fire or some kind of explosion. Um, looks like there's definitely some kind of theft or cheating situation, or just feeling guilty coming back. They could this this person could be arrested and being brought to prison literally and Aquarius could be the prison like so someone might have run away from home and uh, they feel like this is a prison okay so there's a lot going on there all right so uh, let's see what we have for Sag Sag is a six of wands shining star with lots of attention success and leading the way to help others get past guilt and shame or wrongdoing or catching a Capricorn in the act of stealing, cheating, or running away, or just feeling bad for something they did. Sagittarius feels the weight of the wounded warrior, Leo, and feels the presence of the Queen of Pentacles supporting him. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And he's got the Six of Wands. Alrighty. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Death card reversed, and the Hermit with the light. So the Hermit shedding light on those. Put them down there for Sag. Um, two other cards, which I'm not going to put down because there's just not enough room. But we also have the Five of Swords coming out there and the Four of Swords. So there's a lot of sword energy on Sagittarius, although Sagittarius has very positive energy within its own energy there so it's like the worst is over in the cl in clinginess and the hermit or virgo shedding light on that and this could relate to scorpio back here as well okay the clinginess of the scorpio case but the worst is over now and the virgo is shedding light on it or the hermit And it could have to do with being taken down or being defensive in the 5D between, so between twins, it could have to do with the 5D connection and the Sagittarius having been defensive about it because he was at war within himself about the situation and didn't know what to make of it. So he was clinging to his other situation, but now the worst is over. And now there's some peace within this energy because the hermit is upright and helped him to see the light about the clinginess to him and his situation. So the Virgo could have given some clarity or the hermit. So this could be like an older person. It could be a doctor, a professional, Virgo, whatever it is, was, may have given him wise counsel or just shed light on something for him. All right, so... The Capricorn is the next one, the Seven of Swords, um, bleeding out to take a risk and all alone in this, but related to an air sign, feeling unworthy or guilt or shame or feeling like gypsies, tramps, and thieves, a den of thieves, or just feeling bad for wrongdoing or walking away with their tail between their legs. The Page of Cups, Virgo, weighs heavy on their heart and not watching where they're walking or going and maybe walking into an explosion, an epiphany, or a tower moment, a sudden event with Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what Capricorn has here. 
So like I said, they could be forced to go back home after running away, could be a teen, but also could be a grown person who's literally going to prison. Um, here we have the High Priestess reversed and the Five of Pentacles for Capricorn here. So definitely feeling left out in the cold and they could very well be taking away, but this is someone who didn't use their intuition or this, a secret came out and it caused, it caused them to be kicked out of something. So whether they're going to prison or not may not be, but they may have been kicked out of a group or a church or an association because a secret came out or because of their own ignorance when they knew but they pretended not to know. That's Capricorn. Okay, and so now that's associated also, right, with the Justice card of Scorpio. So now we have Scorpio on Aquarius because Aquarius is the tower. Aquarius is a bomb. The truth is out and a, and a time bomb waiting to go off. With faulty foundation or someone going to prison, Aquarius could be the prison and Capricorn caught running away from and now back with the tail between their legs. Um, Aquarius explosion feeling or the Aquarius explosion is also fueling Libra's love for Virgo. So let's see what comes up for Aquarius. All right. So Aquarius has the magician, the ace of swords reversed and the two of swords there. Okay. That's for Aquarius. So we've got the magician there. So someone's manifesting something big. We have two major arcana there with the magician and the tower. Can't say that's necessarily positive, but with the ace of cups above it and that confirmation of all that positive energy for Libra, there's definitely a big manifest manifestation of the Aquarius, whatever fell apart there or fell together, was a split. Either a split decision that happened here in court or the split of a relationship, which then fueled this ability for this Libra to offer love to the Virgo. Um, and then we have the Two of Swords, which is, I'm getting the need to know if you're going, if you then you're going to, then you're going to say, so I need to know. Okay, so that's coming up for that Two of Swords. So it's definitely a manifestation of a split. And the Aquarius with a need to know. Maybe that fueled the explosion and then the Libra no longer needing to know. So then they can offer love to the Virgo. But the Aquarius is a ticking time bomb, but it definitely has to do with a split. So there's possibly that a, um, an Aquarius and a Scorpio split to find peace. And then we have the, the Pisces. Pisces is coming up as with more attention with more attention than they can handle, just stunned, unaffected, and amazed by it all, taking a gamble on the unknown, synchronicities, and suddenly lots of options open for dreams and or witness at the justice of the peace or jury duty or acting part as part of a jury or lawyer or addict in court. Or Scorpio judging Pisces and Cancer Queen of Wands looking the other way. So let's see what comes up for Pisces here. Pisces with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. All right, so Pisces has Three of Wands and then the, the Eight of Pentacles both reversed. So that could have to do with looking back, um, looking back at the past and what wasn't working for them before um, could be working too much and realizing that they it, that they can't focus when they work that much and it kind of causes them to look back at the past or may have been living in the past and now realizing it and seeing everything before them that they have all the options that are right in front of them. They also could be um, now sitting with any um, abandonment or rejection feelings and actually sitting with it to allow themselves to process through it. 
so that they can move on. Now learning how to do the shadow work. So that's really good. And then we end the, the clarification cards here with the justice card on the bottom of the deck. Okay, which again is Libra energy, but it's also about truth and balance and court. So there's definitely some underlying energies having to do with that. We have the wounded warrior reversed under that and then the, the king of wands upright like this. So there may be a child that's um, their world is kind of turned around upside down like this at the bottom of this deck, okay? So there may be a child here with the Page of Swords, their world upside down, and then the Wounded Warrior reverse, which is a sur it can be giving up or just the surrender of the King of Wands in court there with justice. So the King of Wands can also be Libra, okay? And then we have some Pisces energy down here too with the uh, child or a message or lack of message for the Divine Feminine, all right? So that can definitely be like the sealed Divine Feminine in another world has not received a message but now there's surrender from the King of Wands. So that's really beautiful energy. Okay, so now for the final cards that you don't see over there. And I'm gonna turn the view a little bit so you can see over here. I'm gonna do the table. This just doesn't balance very well here. I'm gonna move it over for you there so you can see these cards here. There's a little bit of reflection there, but. so it won't reflect so much. Oh, it's not working so much, but oh well. So, so I did these cards. This was just going to be one card to sum up the, the full read for all 12 signs. And we got the page of pentacles here, which is great for everyone, everyone going forward here. And then we have the Eight of Wands, which is all about passionate communication back and forth, expressing your feelings, the arrows of love. And then we have the Sealed Divine Feminine, completion next to the lovers, which then the lovers are above the Magician and the High Priestess. As we come back over here, um, these two are connecting, right? The, the Knight of Pentacles into the King of Cups, which is unconditional love in a bold move to come together, the magician and the high priestess in the present moment. And we have the lovers connecting the magician and the high priestess right there. That definitely shows me a union. And this is the seal divine feminine, but also completion and all of this communication coming together. Really, really beautiful read, you guys. So I'd love to hear your comments on this. I'm gonna pull um, a couple last cards just on these last, this last bunch, although I don't, don't need to because it's so beautiful there. Let's see. So these two came up again and they came up for one of the last cards we did. The four and five of swords. Okay. So and this is definitely the 5D connection and standing in your truth adamantly no matter what. Okay. That's kind of like uh, I don't can't say much more than that. Pretty beautiful read, you guys. Um, I did summarize the four elements. Fire was stardom and attention for good or for bad or depressed. Earth signs, bleeding out or giving birth, rebirth or reborn. Um, air signs, truth and triumph or lies and a need for clarity or a sudden division or split in a relationship. Water signs, standing up to others, fending off others or standing your ground or being defensive. So those are just general general summaries of the different elements. I hope you like this read. Um, please comment below and have an amazing tomorrow. Bye.